Are we fated to forever recreate the tragedy of the commons? Left to our baser instincts, will we always be selfish? Sometimes we all tend to be a little thoughtless. If it was here yesterday, and it is here today, then if I take some now, there will be more later, right? But what if there isn't any more later? Something inside of us often tells us that when things start to run low, it is time to make sure that you get to keep it all to yourself. Sometimes we even struggle with others to dominate the resource, regardless of whether they are strangers or even family. The easy answer is always to appeal to someone else to fix the problem. Hey, can somebody come fix this thing? At some point, though, we need to come together as a community and recognize that the water doesn't always flow, and we need to plan ahead to make sure that everyone gets what they need and that the resource lives on. Life has a way of throwing us curves from time to time, but we don't all react the same way when it happens to us. Some of us can't quite understand what has happened, so we just kind of go round and round, hoping that the solution is just around the bend. Some of us immediately try to come to grips with the situation and try to overcome whatever it is that is holding us back. Others can't seem to help themselves. They let their frustration show and find ways to express it. Which isn't always bad, because sometimes that means that the next one to come along can just take note of the sign and move on. Since we mentioned water resource planning yesterday, this seems like a good time to bring up one of our favorite topics. Providing water for a variety of wildlife means finding a variety of ways to get the water to them. Make sure you think about where each animal likes to go to get a drink. Think about how they like to approach the water, and keep their physical limitations in mind as well. Tall water sources don't work well for the vertically challenged species and individuals. Low water sources don't always work well for the taller species. Smaller animals often prefer water that is fairly shallow. Most animals don't really need water that is too deep. Some just find that to be an extra bonus. Variety may be the spice of life, but it is essential to wildlife communities. Put a little variety in your water resource planning. 